read Midrashim about Avraham Avinu in the first night of Sukkot. Avraham Avinu, he went and he was fighting and they're calling him from the palace of Nimrod. Nimrod was the king and he was doing things in the world, killing every enemy, everyone that was mm, uh, disturbing him. He was slaughtering thousands and thousands of children, of people. He didn't have no fear in his eyes. He was killing everyone, cruel king, hor horrific, horrible king. And one day he heard that there is that crazy person, Avraham Avinu, that is going and talking against his kingship. He was idolizing himself all of his life, Nimrod. So he said, call Avraham here, I want him to, to, to talk to him, to ask him what he thinks to himself. So they called Avraham Avinu, what is Avraham Avinu doing? He's crossing all of the soldiers, doesn't look to the sides, going one after the other. Like, think about it, someone going to call you now, going to tell you, hey, listen, the President of the United States, he wants to talk to you. Okay, great, you're going to come, you're going to wear your best suit, you're entering into the, they're going to bring you to the first, to the entrance to the, to the White House, great, you're standing. What are you going to do next? You're going to wait. They're going to tell you where to go. Okay, they're going to open the next door for you. You're going to make a few steps, you're going to enter. What then are you going to do? You're going to stop. You're going to, you're going to wait for permission that someone is going to guide you. Going to, okay, here you're allowed to enter, here you're not allowed to enter. You think it was easier in the early days? No, it was worse. It was killing, executing everyone. Today they're going to arrest you, they're going to take you to prison, investigate you, they're going to stop you, they're going to... What's going on with that white person? What is doing here, that black person? Hey, what is doing here? They're just going to talk about you. Nothing's going to happen to you if you're going to go to the next room in the white. They're going to stop you. They're going to hold you. They're going to investigate you. Well, hey, what are you doing? Are you Jewish? What are you doing? What do you have under your kippah? What, where? No, it's not coming off. Okay, and then the, uh, they're going to set you free. But in the early days, they're going to take the axe, take your head off, and that's it. They're going to throw you behind the palace in the backyard that they stolen from another person's property. So it's like, uh, no one, it, it wasn't easier in those days. But Avraham Avinu, what is he doing? He is entering from one room to the other until he came to that main hall of, of, of Nimrod and he saw the throne of honor of Nimrod, the, 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 his seat, his, his, the, 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 the palace, and he's entering and he went and he started holding the, the throne of honor of Nimrod and he's shaking the seat until Nimrod fell on his face. Are you able to do that? Can you think about that? Doing that to Obama? Who is Obama compared to Nimrod? It's a joke. He, he, maybe he would clean his uh, shoes, polishing his shoes in the days of Nimrod, Obama. What can Obama do? You can compare him to Nimrod? Nothing. He just... One of his slaves, maybe. Nimrod, well, he built the, the Babylon Tower. He was, he was, the, he was, he, he was a giant. And Avraham Avinu is going and shaking his throne of honor and throwing him to the ground and he fell on his face and now Avraham Avinu starts rebuking him and screaming at him. Who are you? You're a heretic. You're talking things against the Creator that created heaven and earth and you don't believe in his slave Avraham. You're also talking about me and you think this and that. And there were two idols that were standing over there in his palace and both of them fell on their faces and broke to pieces and everyone were terrified and shaking and afraid and he's looking at him and then Avraham Avinu is calling him you're a dog who you think you are you this you that and no one is able to talk to him and then he went out from the palace finished with this comedy with this joke and went back to do his job in the world going talking to people converting thousands of souls talking to another person another person and then he's walking in the street and he sees an old woman, Kenachat, an old one, old woman came to him. And she's telling him, hey, you're the son of Terach, your brother Haran. He sold me two idols, one idol. He sold me an idol. And that idol, thieves came in the middle of the night and stolen my idol. So he's looking at her and tells her, look, if that idol couldn't save himself from the thieves, so what do you want from me now? She said, I want another one, a brand new one, a new one, a stronger one, a more powerful one. Look, if that idol couldn't save himself, how do you want him to save you? So she told him, what do you suggest? So he said, I suggest that you're going to drop your nonsense, do tshuva, and believe in the Creator that created heaven and earth. 